Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Super Hardcore Flat World Challenge. The goal is to get 20 gold blocks to build uh, men a golden menger sponge. And to do that, I'm collecting gold ingots from random loot chests and NPC village blacksmith chests. And there's a blacksmith. I think I've I think I've raided this blacksmith, or have I not? I have I have not. Uh, I was in this village in the previous video, and uh, I suppose if anyone, w I suppose anyone who watched that was probably screaming at their monitors that uh, I was just walking right past the uh, the blacksmith like an idiot. There we go. I was and still am. Still are, still is. One of those have got to be right. Tired. I'm doing this in the... I'm recording this in the time in which I have that is free. Which so happens to be 3.30 in the morning. And I feel great. Considering that it is 3.30 in the morning. But we're going to... Keep on looking for those NPC blacksmith villager towns. So I wanted to talk about the new, the contents of the new 1.3 snapshots. Uh, primarily, uh, none of that stuff about boats and dispensers and minecarts, but the fact that you can switch from between creative and survival modes now and that puts me in a predicament for both uh, my current series the this series the hardcore flat world challenge and the uh, Mirgloff Mirgloff build series uh, the problem that it that arises is credibility or uh, much not so much credibility I would consider myself to be credible as there's probably hacks or cheats that I could take advantage of to make myself seem super awesome and super cool but as you if you watch my videos you see that I blunder quite a lot and do things the hard way, so it, it should be obvious that I don't use hacks or cheats. Otherwise, I would have spawned all the gold ingots I needed already by this point, even if I were to be stealthy about it and do it gradually. I would have been done by now, but I am not. And so the problem that arises is suspension of disbelief. And uh, I, I should hope you're familiar with uh, what suspension of the, um, I am all turned around now. Suspension of the belief basically means you're set as, setting aside your knowledge that I could easily... I could easily go into creative mode once it's 1.3, which it is not. Okay, it doesn't say the version date. But once 1.3 does come out, I could very easily use creative mode, place gold ingots where I want them, and make it seem as though I had discovered them all on my own. And up till now, it was not necessary to suspend your disbelief that I am playing the game, or pl well, playing the game in this challenge as advertised and as intended. And I think most people will be reasonable enough for not as they view the this series and my other series such as uh, Mirgloff builds 
that I do things legitimately. Although at this point, I know that uh, there will be people who will watch my videos, perhaps for the first time, and believe that I don't do things legitimately, and l inevitably leave comments below. And it's annoying to me when I see it in other videos, much less mine, although I have yet to receive such comments. And I've gone through, I would say, not necessary lengths to prevent people from thinking I do things illegitimately, such as my reluctance to do any kind of editing of the uh, footage of this series, although I have recently given in to that reluctance simply to uh, save myself time in editing. Or, well, not not okay, no, that's not correct. I still, I actually have to do more editing, but to conserve the time in which it takes, that these videos take up, which would normally be about twice as long by time-lapsing these videos. God, that sentence is a train wreck, or my, my train of thought is a train wreck. I really hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say. Uh, I apologize for my confuzzledness as I'm at this point quite tired, but this is the only opportunity at this given point to record this video. I hope you guys understand. And I, I won't, I will not be obviously using the, uh, the creative mode cheat option. Well, I don't know cheat, but the creative mode feature switching option. It's purely optional. I don't know if I'll be using that. And as I was saying, I definitely won't be using the, uh, feature which will allow me, I believe it's single player commands integrated uh, without mods by uh, Mojang into Minecraft which will allow you to switch to creative mode. I won't definitely won't be using that for this series although I may use it a little bit in the Mirgloff build series to finish clearing out that uh, cavern I was working at before I uh, took a break and went on hiatus from making Mirkloff Builds videos. And is there a blacksmith? I possibly ran right by it. I am definitely not at my peak performance at the moment. In fact, I think I am reaching a point in which even though this video is going to be short, that I must stop recording. Because if you were to make a graph of the quality of this video using uh, scatter plots, which is an algebraic thing, it would be, uh, I think it's, it's called a co co cosine, a cosine plot. Christ if I know, I, I suck at algebra. But basically, it's, imagine a line chart, like a, uh, a earnings graph you might see in a stereotypical corporate meeting, going up very high until a peak at one point, and then it begins to go down. That peak is the quality of this video, I think, at this moment. Now, the peak doesn't necessarily mean this, this video is of extremely high caliber. I tried my best, but if I were to continue with this video any longer, I believe the quality is only going to go downhill. In fact, I believe it's going downhill drastically right now. And I would ask you if you would be interested in continuing to watch the very weary and sleep-deprived ramblings of this Mirgloff.
and I am vetting that the answer is no. So I do apologize for this very short video. I think, well, short relative to the standards of which I have, I hope to make these videos. And thank you for watching. See you later.